Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today, doing the what's next on Victor Postal, the former 140 pound junior welterweight world champion, following his tough, controversial 10th round TKO loss to Gary Antoine Russell when they collided on a Showtime undercard on Saturday, February 26. Now, I say controversial because it had a controversial ending. Um, you know, Russell was winning the fight, convincingly in my opinion. Um, it was probably about six to three, seven to two. And um, <clears throat> tenth round, which was the final round of this fight, it was only a 10 rounder. Um, Russell got, uh, Ru you know, Russell was, was, was hitting Postal with some good shots, but Postal seemed fine. And the referee jumped in and stopped the fight prematurely. And um, Russell, you know, walked away with a TKO win as opposed to a decision, which, you know, I understand uh, everybody uh, being upset, but that doesn't change the fact that Russell was going to move on to a decision victory um, anyways. But, you know, when you look at, historically, when you look at it, it, if it was a TKO or a decision, that, you know, that, that matters, the way, the way that looks, that perception. So... Um, tough loss for Postal either way. Um, the guy's got a lot on his mind, you know, with, with everything that's going on in the Ukraine. He's got his family out there. He went forward with the fight but said he was going immediately after the fight to uh, to um, the, whatchamacallit, to the, uh, he was going directly to, um, back to the Ukraine to be with his family and be, be there for his country. So, um, you know, a lot on his mind right there. Uh, big question is what's next for Postal at this point? Well, he's an older fighter, and he took a tough loss, you know. Um, but, you know, I hate to say it. I was thinking about it. This might be that this loss might be more um, – now, I'm not saying it's good to lose. Obviously, it's not. It's better to win. But it might be kind of a blessing in disguise, and the reason I say that is – Postal has struggled the last, um, I want to say since about 2018, the last four years, he has struggled mightily to get somebody to fight him. Um, he became the WBC's mandatory somehow um, and got the shot against Jose Ramirez in 2020, but he waited around a long time for that. And, you know, he, and the reason why is he's a tough matchup. That's why. He's tall, throws a lot of punches, and he can take punches. Um, you know, but uh what you know and that's been that's been the ongoing saga of his career since uh you know for the last couple years he um after he lost to terrence crawford back in 2016 convincingly you know again that was the last guy that crawford didn't stop um after he lost that fight uh you know he was uh, uh what was it he went over to scotland and fought josh taylor and he was, you know, if if that fight wouldn't have been in Scotland, he probably would have got, uh, it probably would have been a close decision. Now, most people don't argue that Taylor won that fight, but most people feel that that fight was very close, um, or should have been close, and they scored it a blowout. But ever since then, uh, you know, outside of the Jose Ramirez fight, which a lot of, some people say he won. That was very close. It was a close majority decision. I think I had it 7-5 for Ramirez. That was a tough, close fight right there. Um... You know, he just has that style that's going to make you look bad. And a lot of guys don't want to sign on the line, to the dotted line to fight him. That's why I was surprised Gary Antoine Russell took the fight, you know, because that was a big deal. So, but he did look somewhat vulnerable this time. Postal did. So maybe that's going to lead to a fight down the road for Victor Postal. Maybe they're going to look at him now as the gatekeeper and not, and not um, a serious threat, you know. And so, again, that might be a blessing. Uh, you know, the, but he was still can, he still can be competitive. I still believe that. So you know, he was competitive in this fight. So going forward, you know, I mean, Josh Taylor's not going to happen. The rematch with him, a rematch with Jose Ramirez isn't going to happen. Um, Jose Cepeda is just on that world title level now, so that won't happen. Regis Progre, that's an interesting matchup. I wouldn't doubt that if Progre continues to struggle to get opponents in the second half of the year. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt if Progre signed on to fight a guy like Postal. You know, granted, Postal figures out his whole situation in the Ukraine. You know, who knows if he's even going to fight again this year. Um, Sandor Martins, an interesting matchup, even though I think Martins kind of shooting a little higher. I don't think he would take the risk. Mikey Garcia, 
hey, you never know. I, I doubt Mikey takes the risk, but you never know. Maybe he would. Um, Jose Pedraza is also coming off a loss. Not likely. Robert Easter, that fight's not likely to happen because Easter is recovering from injuries. Montana Love is an interesting one. So that I think he might uh, sign on. So, you know, Pastel, if I was him and I got his all, all his stuff figured out, I would come back and take a tune-up bout at the end of the year if he can't get a top 10 guy to fight him or a notable fighter. But I really do believe that people might, you know, fighters might say, hey, look, he's more of a gatekeeper now. He's a former champ. I'm going to go test myself against him. And that might give him more opportunities. So we'll see what happens. But that's what I got. That's the what's next on the former junior welterweight champ, Victor Postal. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.